This week in COVID history, t'was the night before Christmas in the Winter White House. Not a creature was stirring except for this Scrouge. They treated us worse than anybody's been treated from a legal standpoint in the history of the United States. All right, have a good time, everybody. Merry Christmas. And we could use a Merry Christmas. It's the 13th consecutive day that the U.S. has reported more than 100,000 hospitalizations. Most working Americans sure need checks right now. Most working Americans don't need a check right now. The House Republicans killed that bill. Merry Christmas. Everyone is feeling the holiday spirit, even Ebba Giza Scrooge. So today I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. A Christmas olive branch from a turtle dove. But Trump's not down. The great Thatsby is throwing a shindig. Big protest in D.C. on January 6th. Be there. We'll be wild. What exactly is going to go down on January 6th? If they will not certify, Donald Trump remains president of the United States. January 6th, Washington, D.C. This is our last shot, January the 6th. Well, I plan to be one of the protesters. That January 6th day could be a day of fireworks. I believe that it is my responsibility to object on January 6th. January 6th is a big If you get a stimulus check, you may want to go out and spend it on guns and ammo because it, it could come down to that. Mm. Merry Christmas to all, and to democracy, it's good night. This has been This Week in COVID History. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.